Hello, my name is Barney. Detective Carla Valenti. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. When you're finished. Oh, another power outage. That's the sixth time today. Not surprising though, with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer, there was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Detectives, I'll wait for you here. Perfect, thanks. Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if it's all right with you, of course. Could we talk a little about Kirsten? What really happened in the store? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? I'm mad, you know. What I have to say is meaningless. Isn't that right? Maybe you're not sick. Maybe it's that no one has taken the time to really listen to you. A man and a woman. In a laundromat. She's a little overweight. Hispanic looking. Him. He has a knife planted in his eye. How do you know that? I was there. I can see through his eyes. Every one of the murders. I'm there. What happened in the laundromat? A sacrifice. A human sacrifice. The killer and his victim. Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. There have been other identical murders, haven't there? The killings won't stop until they found the little girl. Why? Why are they killing? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan are secretly running everything. They're watching us listen us all of the time. They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're everywhere. How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. I, I have to go now, Anton. Thank you for your help. It's already too late. We're all gonna die from the cold. It'll be the dawn of a new race! The end of humanity! <laughs> the end of humanity! <laughs> Sort of spiral, drawn hundreds of times on the wall of the cell. 
Why is he obsessed by this symbol? Everything go all right? I'll walk you to the... Damn it. This time it looks serious. Uh, it looks to me like our backup electrical generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. What was that noise? Oh shit. The cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. The electrical outage must have screwed up the auto lock system. What? You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing? Quiet. Don't move. Don't make any noise. We don't want them to locate us here. Just keep cool and we'll wait for the lights to come on. Relax. Stay close to me. <laughs> the aide. They got him. I have to move from here. No! That's how everything came to an end. I couldn't control my fear, and it ended up killing me. I'd never know what really happened in that East End restaurant on that cold January night. came to an end. came to an end. I couldn't... You made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. 
The auto lock system opened all of the cell doors. Are you hurt? Are you sure you're all right? Great, Barney. <laughs> I feel great. I love playing hide-and-seek in the dark with a pack of psychopathic killers. 